Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best streaming devices. Starting at number 5. NVIDIA Shield Android. The NVIDIA Shield TV is a power user's Android TV device. But it doesn't just look unlike any other streaming device we've ever seen, it's more like a mobile power charger, it's also one of the best streaming devices, period. This tube for your tube is great at speedily spitting out UHD 4K content, and its thousands of apps means you're getting practically everything you could watch. And it's so slight in size that it fill fit discreetly into the ever-crowded space around your TV. This Shield TV also includes a remote control, rather than a game controller. We love this remote because it illuminates when you pick it up in the dark, so we're not only relying on remembering where buttons are and what shape they are. You won't miss the lack of a packed-in controller, thanks to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One controller support. That all adds up to the best streaming device for those willing to spend more. Coming at number 4. Apple TV 4K. We absolutely love the Apple TV 4K, 2022, at $129, which is $50 lower than before. Yes, that price is still a bit high for the industry, the above $50 picks stream in 4K too. But this price drop makes one of the best streaming devices, especially for Apple users, even more accessible. But that's just the beginning. Apple supercharged the Apple TV 4K with the new A15 Bionic system on chip, delivering some of the fastest load times we've seen on any streaming device. For example, it beats the latest Fire TV Cube and Roku Ultra on loading Netflix, YouTube, Disney Plus and Spotify. On top of that, HDR10 Plus finally arrives, if your TV supports it, and the remote finally charges over USB-C and not Lightning. Smart home enthusiasts will be excited for the inclusion of the thread support for Matter, and some may be annoyed you need to spend $20 more for an Ethernet port. The Roku Ultra, for example, includes one by default at $99. That said, one of the best reasons to get the Apple TV 4K is tvOS, which is still the cleanest interface out there. But as much as I love the Apple TV remote, I've recently come into a weird problem where it stops being able to use my TV's volume controls. Check out our guide on how to fix an Apple TV for how I solve it. At number 3. Chromecast Google. The Chromecast with Google TV 4K makes the company's traditional streaming device a whole lot more complete. It also features excellent live TV integration with a whole section for free TV and select paid live TV streaming services, YouTube TV, Sling, and Philo. It also packs with 4K UHD streaming with support for HDR and Dolby Vision, for excellent picture quality, and Dolby Atmos for immersive sound. And Google TV means an interface and operating system that supports the over 6,500 Android TV apps. While it's not the minimalist streaming device that the Chromecast 3 was, the new Chromecast remote could even replace your TV's remote. It's got the power and volume controls you need to turn on your TV, plus a TV input button for switching to other devices, such as gaming consoles. Also, we really like the feel and build quality of the Chromecast remote, as it fits nicely in the palm of the hand and the buttons have a good click. Also, there are minimal branded app buttons, with just Netflix and YouTube. The Roku and Fire TV remotes offer too many, and should take notes. Number 2 of my list. Roku Express 4K. So, you want to get 4K streaming at the lowest price possible, but you're worried about cutting too many corners? Check out the new Roku Express 4K Plus, which is the replacement to the flawed Roku Premiere. We like this model a lot more because of its improved remote. Previously, you needed a direct line of sight, and to point your remote directly at the Roku, for it to work. This way is a lot better, so you don't need to think when you click the paddle. That, plus UHD image quality and snappy performance means that the Roku Express 4K Plus is the best streaming device for those on a budget. We wish it were a little heavier, though, as you may wind up spending a minute fiddling with its HDMI cable to make it sit flat on a surface. The Roku Streaming Stick Plus doesn't have that issue. And if you love A-V standards such as Dolby Vision or Atmos Audio, 
you may need to look elsewhere. Want something cheaper? Our Roku Express 2022 review dives deep on its performance gains. And number one. Roku Streaming Stick. The Roku Streaming Stick 4K is a small, but noteworthy, upgrade over the Streaming Stick plus it replaces. The King stays the King, though, because little changed, and only improvements came with. Most notably, we've finally got Dolby Vision on this Roku Stick, so your favorite streaming shows will have the right color balance and contrast, provided your TV supports it, too. Otherwise, the Roku Streaming Stick 4K is a perfect balance of price and performance, costing $50 and providing snappy navigation and smooth streaming. It's got all the apps you could need, too. Since Roku is a pretty great platform, the only reasons to consider spending any more are for hardwired Ethernet, if your living space demands it, which is available in the Roku Ultra and Apple TV 4K. When we tested the streaming stick 4K, we saw content crispness jump to 1080p and then 4K in short amounts of time. We also noticed app loading that's comparable to the Chromecast with Google TV. Roku wins overall though thanks to its perfect streamlined interface, which puts apps above content. But the Roku Streaming Stick 4's dominance isn't by the widest of margins, as evidenced by our tightly contested Roku Streaming Stick 4K versus Chromecast with Google TV face-off. We also recommend this Roku Streaming Stick for travel, as it's a perfect addition to your next hotel or Airbnb room's TV, while taking up minimal space in your bag. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.